For the past 24 years, uh, NICE uh, brought to New York uh, new Italian cinema. They, it means that they brought films, either the first or the second film, of an entire generation of directors. Then their, the directors they presented and they promoted went on and became famous and did major films. But I really want to thank them and uh, congratulate them for the pioneering work that they did and that they still do in order to promote uh, young Italian cinema. Uh, it's very much needed, the, the, the work that they do, and we are very happy to be associated with them once again. This year, um, NICE presents three films in New York. One is going to be the one that we're going to see right now. Uh, one is going to be immediately after at the um, Film Academy in Union Square. And tomorrow there is going to be the, uh, yet another one. You find all the information on our website and on the website of NICE. Tomorrow's film is Blame It on Freud, Tutta Colpa di Freud. And we have, I know it's a, it's, a, it's a cute, interesting title. And you can congratulate the director of uh, Blame It on Freud, who is going to be here tonight as uh, our guest for the Q&A after this film, of which he's the screenwriter. So Paolo Genovese is the screenwriter of this film and the director of Blame It on Freud that is going to be shown tomorrow. And we have with us also uh, Anita Kravos. Anita, come. Anita Cravos, that is one of the actors of La Grande Bellezza by Paolo Sorrentino, the film that won the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film, and I think we should all greet her with a round of applause. <laughs> Anita, but c'è una vera resurrezione del cinema italiano. The, the Oscar that you guys won with the great beauty means that there is a resurrection going on of Italian cinema. What's your impression? Well, the fact is someone in Italy a couple of years ago said, we don't eat with culture. So they were not supporting cinema and culture and art anymore. But now you guys said we need to be congratulated and you gave us an Oscar. So if the Academy says you Italians are all right, we can you know, grow up <laughs> with your judgments. And um, I was told, America, you guys organized touristic tours around those places in Rome where we shot The Great Beauty. So they're like, hey, you really want to see our places? As if we didn't know, we have so much beautiful things, so much art that we don't even know where to store at or in. Um, so we shot in the most beautiful places in the world, which is just Rome, just like Fellini did many years ago. And this is an, up, an updating of um, how people in Rome do art, if the view art is better than the new one, or if the new art is coming. So that's a big question that involves creation, creativity, inspiration, aesthetics, and all the high themes that are like the most important one if you are a human being. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. A big round of applause for Anita Kravos. Thank you. And uh, now I would like to invite Viviana Del Bianco, who is the founder and director of New Italian Cinema Events. Viviana, vieni qua. Mettiti sul gradino. Viviana, è oh, così meglio, no? Uh, she's uh, one of the most hardworking people I know for the promotion of Italian cinema. And I have to move too. Higher than you now. <laughs> and she has only one major defect. She doesn't like to talk in public. So she normally gives a little greeting. But believe me that she's really the soul behind everything that goes on at Nietzsche. Qualcosa sull'edizione di quest'anno, Viviana, vuoi dire? L'edizione di quest'anno forse è la migliore degli ultimi 25 anni. 24 anni. <laughs> Stavo già pensando al 25esimo anno d'età che si fa le nozze d'argento. That, that this year's edition is the best probably the last 24 years, but she said 25th, it was a lapse, so she's already thinking about the next edition that is going to mark the uh, silver wedding of uh, Nietzsche to uh, New York. 
Mi dispiace non poter presentare tutta l'edizione del festival che è completa a San Francisco, ma speriamo al prossimo anno. She's, uh, she's sorry that she cannot present the whole uh, edition of the festival that is going to be pre uh, presented in San Francisco in the coming week and she hopes to be able to do so next year. I film di quest'anno sono tutti i generi, tutte le tematiche che si possono essere in Italia, dall'architettura che sono bellissime in Italia, dal, um, da, dai diritti umani, dal, sul lavoro e credo che sia una, una selezione molto ma molto importante. Finalmente quest'anno siamo riusciti a fare quello che volevamo e quei film che se ne abbiamo visti più di 80 e sono tutti belli. Mi dispiace solo, come le potete vedere, però le potete vedere alla New York, qui alla New York University. That uh, they viewed uh, more than 80 films, and the selection of this year is representative of a variety of different genres. There are <coughs> films that emphasize the architectural beauty of Italy, others that are related to human rights, other two issues related to uh, work policies, and so on and so forth. Uh, that to make a selection, obviously, of the 80 films, and they were able to present only the six that are in the competition and three here in New York. But they are, we have copies here at NYU and we'll find ways to show them to you. Io so. vogliamo buona visione? Sì, perché più che altro la serata è di nel nostro direttore artistico. Vieni? Paolo. Paolo. <laughs> Stasera abbiamo voglia di scherzare. <laughs> Please welcome Paolo Genovese with the screen. <laughs> Normally we don't, we don't talk about the film before the film. Ju I just wanted to introduce uh, Paolo Genovese to you. As I said, he's the screenwriter of this film and he's the director of Blame It on Freud that is going to be shown tomorrow. So after the film, we're going to have time for a brief Q&A uh, with Paolo. Please enjoy Remember Me. Paolo, a questa edizione del Nice parlo in inglese va bene? O oh, italiano? Ok. Uh, you're at this edition of, of Nice both as a screenwriter and as a director. Tomorrow we're going to talk to you as director of your film, Blame It on Freud. It was a big success in Italy. Uh, but tonight we're going to talk to you as a screenwriter since you have both of these uh, roles. Uh, who had the idea to make this film, the, 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 the core of this film? This is two create these two characters and make them meet? But, um, the, uh, I try in English, sorry mm, for my English, but I try to speak in English. Um, we want to make with uh, Rolando a novel. Um, and we saw uh, it's a theatrical uh, subject, this one. And uh, it's, it's a little bit different, uh, but the idea is from a theatrical subject called uh, Remember Me, and so we decided together to rewrite it in a movie script, and so we, we worked together for this uh, kind of... So it, it was from a theatrical idea, from a theatrical piece, yeah. and then you turned it into a, yeah. Yeah. a script. Um, You seem to have, is even in Blame It on Freud, there are a lot of, of course, it's in the title, but here too there is a lot about psychoanalysis and psychology and uh, psychopathology, because these are two blatant cases of uh, pathologies of the psyche. Uh, is this something that it's only in these two films, one is screenwriter and one is director, or it's a common thread in your production? No, no, no. <laughs> thank you. No, it's just a, it's just a case. Uh, because um, um, this came from a theatrical piece about uh, we, we saw it two years ago and we decided to make a film and Blade Freud uh, is uh, um, romance. a romance no, romanzo. romanzo a novel a novel, a novel that I wrote uh, in Italy uh, one year ago and then from the, the, the novel I, I wrote um, the, the screen the script, but it's just a case, film. yes, and I direct the film, it's just a case. That there are all these psychopathologies in two films, and uh, um, when they were shooting the, f the film, did you go at all on the set, or after you wrote the script, no, you I, left I, it in the hands of the director? I went to the set sometime, because I am also producer of this movie, 
with Rai Cinema and Marco Berardi, but uh, just two times because uh, I deep believe uh, in the freedom of the director and uh, you have to make your uh, own film uh, without any intermission. I, I, I went to the set just for yes. friendly, because I'm friendly, I am friend with Orlando, with the director, before shooting film, and so just for stay together for the lunch. Mm -hmm. But not, no, not for C. And, and it, it's watch. interesting that uh, Ravello is an actor, mostly, right, that started directing his films. Uh, you are a writer and a screenwriter that also, and you are a director, and also one of the authors of the script of this film is the protagonist, right? Is yes, the protagonist the is actor and director, and also Maximiliano Bruno, uh, the, the, mm, who writes the theatrical script, is a director, but because in Italy we are n not so so much director, but we have a generation of director, script writer and actor, about maybe 20 person that uh, we know very well each other, we work together and we work uh, uh, in, uh, in project in Crociati, how you say? In, uh, in crossing cross projects, project, interchangeable yes. roles. Yes. So you change your roles, yes. one is the actor and then is the director and then writes the script for the other one to, yes. to direct. It's a, a sort of a community and uh, all, um, we, we also show our uh, movie uh, b before release uh, to other uh, colleague we we show the script for ever opinion mm -hmm. so it's a it's a, a small community that uh, work together and you're all still friends yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> no, no. But, so we are still friends because uh, Everyone is uh, c com I have a conviction that uh, mm, every movie that have success, uh, it's good for the next movie. Very good. Well, you can open a discussion if you have any question for Paolo Genovese. Were you involved at all in the casting choice, in the choice of the actors? As producer or not? Yes, yes. Uh, in the casting uh, we, we um, advise each other and um, we go to the um, audition together but uh, the last decision is always to the director. Uh, you might have noticed that the female protagonist uh, um, is a very good actress and uh, she was a TV personality for a long time and it seemed that when she started acting for cinema some people were very skeptical of her uh, ability as an actress and she really showed that she can not only act but do a very difficult role like this one. For she um, you mean Ambra? Yeah. Yes. But in, um, in Italy when you work for television it's very hard to pass to movie for to cinema, it's very, very hard. There is a sort of uh, snobism, how you, do you say snobism? Snobism, uh, yes. Snobism, it's the same, okay. And I worked first time with Ambra in my movie called Immaturi, and uh, in uh, this movie, the five protagonists, uh, main actor, came from the television, and uh, no one productor wanted mm, put his money in this movie. At the end, I find Marco Berardi that believe in this movie and believe in these five actors also if they all came from Even television. if they came from yes, television, yes. yes. And in uh, Immaturi is uh, one of the, the most comedy, success, successful comedy of the last 10 years uh, in Italy. So, um, uh, in this work you don't Non bisogna avere pregiudizi. You, you cannot have uh, prejudice yeah. in, in this job. And in, in Italy there is a sort of a stigma against people who come from television. Yeah. And he had a hard time finding producers that would bet money on a film that had TV personalities. Um, and he proved that he could make a very successful film yeah. with, with uh, Immaturi. Um, yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, at the beginning, I thought I was uh, seeing the wrong movies. I thought I was like, even in the space, but I'm here. <coughs> at the end, I, I like very much the movies. Can you explain me why? <laughs> 
I still don't know why I didn't like it. Vedi un po' ti scambiano per un analista però. Oh, bella. Nice question. Interesting questions. I think, I think in the seeing a movie you have to pain. Cioè, devi soffrire. Suffer, yes. You have to suffer. I, am, I, I think this. Uh, because uh, th th there is kind and kind of comedy. Uh, this kind of comedy, for me, it's not so light. Uh, how come potrebbe sembrare. Io passo all'italiano perché è troppo complicato. Ci sono... As light as it could seem. There is a depth to it. Um, uh, per descrivere con maggior profondità determinate tematiche, determinati personaggi, devi introdurli. Le introduzioni spesso sono lente e quindi spesso possono annoiare, ma è un prezzo che si deve pagare per poi poter godere alla fine di una rotondità del personaggio. In order to present uh, certain kind of characters you need to introduce them, to present them. And introductions can be a bit boring at the beginning, but they're indispensable to present characters that are well rounded and that have a depth that at the end of the movie you end up appreciating. Può andare come risposta? Anybody else? Yes. Yes. We And you could relate to it. I also, I, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I had a I really had a chocolate right from the start. <laughs> you know, just on the ice cream and just, you see that in New York also. I don't know, in, in Italy it's the same, I've only been there a few times, but the personalities that you put up there are uh, just very easy to see and appreciate. Thank you for your comment. Yes. It's been released in Italy last year, and uh, we hope that will be released in the uh, United States. We hope. Sorry? In Italy, it's not so well, no. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Well, it's one of also the features of, of Italian comedy that is never pure comedy. And comedy Italian style is very often a bitter comedy. Uh, sometimes it's a dark comedy with dark tones. Uh, and here it's introduced another element of these sort of uh, existential 
solitude. It's basically a film about being alone and uh, the, the, the mental problems that these two characters have are also a metaphor for people that do not have necessarily mental problems, but still are alone. I mean, their their, their couple of friends are not a kleptomaniac and a narcoleptic, but they are still alone, and they uh, face their existences as, as very separate and very lonely people. Um, because comedy, it's really a wide range of kind of film. Sometimes we confuse a comic film with comedy film. In a comic film, you go just to laugh. When you go out, uh, if you laugh 10 or more times, you are happy. If you <coughs> laugh uh, less than 10 times, you are not happy. It, it's comedy. It's good, good. It's a genre. And um, different from comic, it's comedy. Comedy, for me, it's more deep. Comedy can uh, um, speak about uh, life uh, with um, um, light leggerezza. Lightness. Lightness, but uh, not non superficialità. But not superficiality. There, comedy can be light, but it's never superficial. And it has depth, it, unlike comic films that are just about laughing and that they're fine, but they serve a different purpose. And for me, sometimes uh, the uh, best way to speak about drama is uh, comedy. I, w I would add nothing else. And this is all the time we have for tonight. We are now running to the other screening. But I remind you that tomorrow at 7, Giusto Alessente, there is going to be the screening of Paolo Genovese's film as a director, Blame It on Freud. I believe it's almost completely sold out. The tickets are free, but it's sold out. Uh, but you can go on the website of a nice New Italian Cinema Events or on the website of Casa Italiana where you find the link to the website of uh, NICE to see Blame It on Freud tomorrow evening at 7. And please give a round of applause to Paolo Genovese. <laughs>